Okay, in this video, we are going to create a sub workflow in our Telegram virtual assistant. We're going to copy these notes that we want to move into the sub workflow. We create a new sub workflow called VA calendar agent. This agent will only focus on calendar interactions. We can delete some of these notes like the Telegram response and the simple memory because the parent uh, workflow is going to manage that for us. Now we can change this agent node to be calendar specific and call it the calendar agent just to remind us. We can change the system message so that it is very, very specific to interacting with the calendar only. And what we're doing is telling this agent what tools it has available to interact with to be able to execute whatever query comes into this sub workflow. So now we're telling it that it is a calendar agent and it has access to being able to get events and create events and things like that. And that means it knows what tools it has available and it knows where to direct a query or a request. We will also update the parent uh, AI agent system message as well to be more general. But for the moment, what we want to do is go back out of this for a moment and we're going to go. The next thing we will do is create a trigger for this sub workflow. We look for a workflow or execute sub workflow. There should be one option, which is a trigger. It's going to be triggered by another workflow, which is the parent workflow. We copied this from originally. We now have our sub workflow. And what we need to do is click on this section here and click on the little um, stars and sparkles. And that means it will be, the input will be defined automatically for the AI. And that means it will take whatever message is coming from this parent workflow and it'll go down into the AI agent and it will figure out what it needs to do. So now we go back into the parent workflow and we can delete these nodes for calendar management that is no longer needed. And we search for the sub workflow uh, trigger, which looks like call N8N workflow tool. We select that and we give a description of what the sub workflow's purpose is. And this helps the AI agent to know when to call this specific workflow and what it can be useful for. We need to select our specific sub workflow from the list of available workflows that we just gave a name to, make sure it's the correct name, and our parent flow is now connected to our sub workflow. In our sub workflow, we wanna make sure that the input it receives is accept all data. So now let's test this. We've hooked it up. What events do I have on tomorrow? And it's going to call the parent workflow. And then that parent workflow will call the sub workflow. That sub workflow will go and get the answers and bring it back to this parent one and return the response. And there we see our response. So now in our sub workflow, we go into execution and we see what it's done here. This will load up and what we will see is all green ticks. It's called the get events node. So it's known the correct one to call. It's gone and retrieved data from my calendar. It's returned it to the AI agent that then returns it as an output message to the parent workflow. And that comes into here, which it then turns into an output and responds to the telegram app. So we've now created our sub workflow.